Immunosuppression is an obvious requirement after liver transplantation, but despite many decades, it's amazing how inconsistent we are in our approach to it. The way we diagnose rejection and the way we assess the need for treatment uh, is very variable, and that is one of the focus uh, of our discussions yesterday, to try and bring some common sense and structure to the way that we approach this. Immunosuppression, thankfully, has been very effective in largely controlling rejection, and there is a trend now to looking at rejection drugs more from the side effects uh, that they bring as opposed to their primary purpose. And we want to get that balance a bit better, and particularly looking at some of the problematic types of rejection that have emerged in the last few years, like humoral rejection.